Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today we're going to discuss a few important things in the world of jailbreaking, particularly where iOS 8.4 is concerned, and TIG version 2.4.3 beta, which is the latest iteration of the jailbreak utility that's capable of jailbreaking the 6th generation iPod Touch. So I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the all new device that was released by Apple yesterday with the latest version of TIG, and we're also going to discuss Cydia. <laughs> All right, so to start off, my latest untethered Taiji jailbreak tutorial is still applicable because the download links have been updated with the latest version of Taiji. And initially, I wasn't going to release this video concerning the beta version, but considering the release of the sixth generation iPod Touch and how the utility is able to jailbreak it, as well as the fact that I've tested it a number of times myself, I've decided to push it out for you guys to keep you updated on the latest in the world of jailbreaking. So if you have yet to jailbreak, then just be sure to watch watch that video, I will have it linked to on the screen up until now. If you happen to miss it, then just be sure to check it out in card format by clicking up here. Also, for those of you who are not only current, but also prospective jailbreakers, I will have two other videos linked to on the screen now. Ensure that you watch this video on the desktop version of YouTube because they discuss past Taiji and Cydia updates that are paramount to your device's security. So if you happen to miss those for whatever reason, or maybe you've been away from the jailbreak scene since you initially performed your jailbreak, then just be sure to watch through that coverage. I highly recommend it because there are some crucial details, again, not only related to security, but also performance. With that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this video by discussing the latest beta version of Taiji. So launching up Safari here and navigating to Taiji's website, you'll see in the change log that the latest beta version is 2.4.3. Now again, I have tested it a number of times and I found that it is absolutely great as far as performance is concerned and I haven't encountered any sort of issues whatsoever. In my opinion, this isn't really a beta version. This seems more stable than its predecessor being version 2.4.1, the current public release. So in this latest beta, it says that it optimizes the process of jailbreak, but really it does more than that. It also includes support for the sixth generation iPod Touch, which features the new identifier 7 comma 1. I'm going to show that to you guys in just a second when we discuss the jailbreak for the sixth gen. There will also be an annotation to actually skip ahead to that segment if you own a sixth generation iPod Touch and you're just interested in jailbreaking it. So be sure again to watch this video on desktop. And as I mentioned in my last Taiji jailbreak update video, the previous version fixed issues where users were getting stuck at 60% and also other versions have corrected the 20% stuck errors as well. So this version is more stable now than ever before. And if you guys have yet to jailbreak, again, just be sure to follow my un tethered jailbreak tutorial. It's already been updated with links for version 2.4.3 beta, and that utility itself comes bundled with the latest city installer being 1.1.23. And as I mentioned in the last video discussing these updates, there's now a new section inside of Cydia that will allow you to easily and quickly find different extensions for the applications that you have installed. So now Cydia will automatically analyze all the apps you have installed on your device, and it will break certain tweaks down into different app categories. So for instance, these are all the tweaks that modify Cydia. If I were to back out, this is the one tweak that modifies Asphalt 8, as you can see there. It automatically detects these packages and returns them to you. So if you're interested, again, this is the latest version of Cydia installer. If you have yet to update in a while, then all you have to do is go to the Changes tab inside of Cydia, tap on Refresh in the upper left-hand corner, and install any and all available updates from Cydia. Again, the latest version version of the Taiji untethered jailbreak package is still version 2.3, so if you've updated since then, you're good to go. But if you have yet to, just install it via the same method I just highlighted. It's very simple and that package is crucial for your device's security. And with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the 6th generation iPod Touch. Alright, so launching up Geekbench, you'll notice that it confirms this is indeed the latest 6th generation because it states for the model it is an iPod 7 comma 1. That's the latest identifier for the 6th generation iPod Touch. This is also the new revised and revamped blue version. So swiping over here, you'll notice I do have Cydia. That's because 
because I just performed a jailbreak on this device moments ago, and at the bottom, Cydia does indeed confirm that this is an iPod 7,1 running iOS 8.4 with Cydia 1.1.23, the latest version, and I can install things. So let's go ahead and tap into changes and tap on upgrade for this package, and you'll notice that it installs just as you'd expect it to. So let's go ahead and wait for this install to complete. We can tap on return to Cydia, and we can fully scroll through everything. You'll notice it is incredibly fast and lag free. That's because of the all new A8 iPod touch processor powering this sixth generation. It's the same processor that powers the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, though it is slightly underclocked. But because it has to push less pixels to the display, it means everything is crazy fast, especially where jailbreaking is concerned with the sixth generation iPod touch. And speaking of jailbreaking, let's get into that right now. Okay, so switching on over to some other footage here, let's jailbreak the 6th gen. Opening up Geekbench, you will notice that at the top it does confirm this is a 6th generation by its 7 comma 1 identifier. Now plugging into iTunes via standard USB cable, I am actually utilizing a virtual machine. I'm using Taiji for Windows. Alright, so unchecking 3K system at the bottom, we're going to toggle on airplane mode and then click start to continue with the jailbreak. And we're not going to go over all of the prerequisites in this video, it's more of a jailbreak demonstrational tutorial than a full-fledged guide. So if you're interested in jailbreaking your 6th generation iPod Touch, you will need to go to my latest untethered Taiji jailbreak tutorial, which has been updated with this latest version of Taiji that I'm using to jailbreak the iPod Touch right now. It's really quite simple. So I'm just going to leave the iPod Touch up on the screen throughout the duration of this process so you guys can see approximately how long it does take. And down below at the bottom, there will actually be annotations for you to click to actually skip ahead if you're not interested in watching the entire jailbreak process of this 6th gen. I just wanted to leave it up as more proof that you can jailbreak Apple's latest device that was just released yesterday. So let's go ahead and wait for this to complete now. Okay, there you have it. It says jailbreak succeeded. The iPod Touch is now just rebooting, and once it comes back up, let's launch Cydia. All right, and below Taiji, we just had this update iTunes prompt. We can just close out of that as well. Okay, and as you can see, we're now back up. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock, toggle off airplane mode, swipe over, and launch Cydia. It's preparing the file system, so I'll be back once it resprings. Okay, so now the iPod Touch did respring, sliding to unlock here. We do have Cydia again. Let's go ahead and tap into it to open it, which we can now fully use. All right, down below at the bottom, getting a close-up of this, Cydia does confirm this is the latest iPod Touch running 8.4. All right, guys, there you go. That about wraps up this video. It's just been my sixth generation iPod Touch jailbreak demo and Taiji overview video for the latest version of the tool. And if you're interested in winning a brand new sixth generation iPod Touch of your own, all you you have to do is rate this video up, leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section, and click the link that's listed below to actually share this video out with your friends. And for even more entries, all you have to do is just navigate to this video, my unboxing and review of the device, and do the exact same thing there, though you can share it just with the default YouTube share options. Alright, I really do hope you guys like this video and that you enjoy your jailbroken devices. If you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos similar to 
to this one covering jailbreaking and new Apple devices. Just be sure to click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. Also, for those of you interested in entering the iPad Air 2 giveaway that's still going on, just pay a visit to freeappsfast.com, sign up, download apps, it's as simple as that. All right, guys, and until next time, this is ICU, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.